Today I'm going to show you a few simple steps to create a surreal glass sphere floating within a photograph. This cool effect is perfect for creating interesting album covers or just to transform your landscape photos into abstract art pieces. All it takes is a few relatively simple Photoshop tools, a couple of filters and a touch of shading, making it a pretty easy effect that you can create in minutes. To begin you first need a photograph to place the abstract sphere within. Landscape images work best, but any kind of environment would work. I'm using this free image of a road between mountains from Pexels. Go to the view menu and make sure you have the rulers enabled, as well as the snap setting. Drag horizontal and vertical guides and place them in the centre of the canvas. Add a new layer, then select the elliptical marquee tool. Hold the Alt key and drag out a circular selection from the centre of the image. Scale it to the desired size of your sphere. Use the Alt and Backspace shortcut to fill this selection with black, which should be the default foreground colour. Go to Select and Deselect, or use the shortcut Command or Control key on Windows and D. Select and drag the background layer onto the new layer icon at the bottom of the layers panel to make a copy. Drag this copy to the top of the layer stack above the black circle layer. Go to Filter, Distort and Spherize and max out the amount to 100%. You can run this filter again for an even more spherical appearance, but any more than that and the quality starts to degrade. Use the Command and T shortcut for Transform, then scale this layer down to the same size as the black circle layer. You'll need to scale non-proportionally to make it fit exactly. Since the function of the Alt key was swapped around in a recent Photoshop update, you may or may not have to hold it depending on your preferences settings. The snap option makes it easy to line everything up. Hit the Enter key when you're done. Hold the Command key then click on the layer thumbnail of the black circle layer to load its selection. Then add a layer mask which will trim away the square corners. Turn off the visibility of the black layer to eliminate the thin black halo around the circle. Click the layer thumbnail of the background copy layer to activate the artwork instead of the layer mask. We need to add a twirl effect, but first make sure you load the selection of the black circle again, otherwise the artwork will become distorted. Although this could be desirable if you want to go for more of an amorphous shape. With the selection active, the filter, distort and twirl effect keeps the sphere perfectly circular. Add around 50% twirliness to distort the image slightly. Use the command and semicolon key shortcut to turn off the visibility of the guides to better see the effect. Add a new layer then select the brush tool. Set up a soft tip with zero hardness. Command and click on the black circle layer to load the selection again. Then paint with black on one side of your sphere shape to add some shading. Use the X key to swap the foreground and background colours around to paint with white. Then add some highlights around the edge on the opposite side. Change the blending mode of this layer to soft light. Then reduce the opacity to around 40%. Double click the main sphere layer and add an inner glow layer style. Change the settings to white with the overlay blending mode. Reduce the choke to zero, then change the size slider to find a suitable value that smoothly fades into the sphere. Reduce the opacity to around 30%. Activate the top layer in the layers panel, then add a new layer above it. Paint some basic highlight shapes within the sphere area, then change the blending mode to overlay. Reduce the opacity to around 50%. Add another new layer, then use the X key to swap the foreground colour back to black. Place a single spot of black on the canvas, then press Command and T to transform. Squash and extend this shape to form a shadow that can be placed underneath the sphere to make it seem like it's floating in mid-air. Change the blending mode to Linear Burn, then reduce the fill value to allow the colours to interact with the background to create a slightly more realistic shadow effect. The final result is a surreal glass sphere effect that turns any photograph into an abstract art piece. As a finishing touch you could also flip the sphere vertically to mimic the kind of refraction that is captured with real crystal ball photography. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, if you did or if you learnt any new tricks be sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel to stick around for more of my content and head over to my Spoon Graphics website to download all of my free design resources. As always thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.